Mention biology class and most people will think science labs, experiments, and animal dissections. But for 80 biology students at Kamehameha High School, Kapalama, their class also includes playing video games. Uh, Minecraft is your basic sandbox game. Uh, you can build things, you can destroy things, and uh, you have the ability to play with people from all over the world. Minecraft EDU, the educational version based on the popular video game, allows these students to gain a deeper understanding of science while also embracing their Hawaiian culture. For biology, we can use it to just accurately depict the real world in Minecraft and makes it easier for students to experience it. Well, I started playing Minecraft a pretty long time ago, I, I would say in elementary school. I don't know, like everywhere is like all Minecraft, this and that, and like at first I didn't really know how to play so I was like so clueless on like what was going on, like I would just be like, uh, like one of the boys, can you like help me? Students put their skills to the test by visiting the lo'i or taro patches in Punalu'u Valley in Windward, Oahu. So we want to build from top to bottom a terracing kind of model of what it would look like in Minecraft, including um, info blocks that kids could share like mo'olelo or pictures or uh, data from the things that we're studying out here today. I started out with um, measuring the sides and the lengths of the different lo'i's around here. And then we switched and I was collecting water samples from each lo'i and testing out the pH balance of each water sample. And we were going around putting data points uh, showing where each water sample was collected. Another group is actually doing the mapping, so they're gathering the information uh, with GPS. So we have our land assets guys with us today. We were providing a tool um, for people to come out and collect data so they can walk around the lo'i and measure the perimeter of it, get lengths. After everyone got back, I explained to them how to put it into the game. And after that, then the whole class kind of jumped onto the bandwagon with me. It's taken us about three weeks to do maybe two and a half. So basically you start like with an inventory of all of the blocks in the game and a flat landscape. The only thing that looks Hawaiian is the grass. What I had to do was I just had to look at what we weren't gonna use. So like blocks that probably weren't gonna be used in making the lo'i and figuring out which, which ones I could swap out for Hawaiian details. You know, I, I hooked them with the game but then I kind of, you know, sprinkled and peppered the, the information through the, the research and exploration of this place. And this place in particular plays a special role for students as the Punalu'u Ahupua'a is part of the estate of our founder, Keali'i Powahi. Sharing this project with those that oversee the endowment helps students to develop a deeper connection to their role in Powahi's legacy. I think it's a really good idea because it allows us to get like a piece of technology and have hands-on learning and like to put it together into one is like really good. I feel like it was really well implemented especially if, since it's like the first time that this really happened. Minecraft along with biology really got me into it and it was really easy for me to like focus and get this work done. It's so those that are innovative those that are prepared for the future, those that can take information, use it, and then produce something awesome out of it, that's where the success of our students is going to be. Through these kinds of opportunities, students can have fun while learning at the same time. <laughs>